Hi there, Bob here from Insidium. It's Top Tip Tuesday. On today's video, we're going to be breaking down a scene from our Black Friday ad. And this time we're going to be using the Nexus Particles tools to create this really nice developing particle trail flower. Some really nice techniques in here, including some data mapping. So let's get started and we'll jump in. In our scene, we have three particle emitters set up in ring mode, and we're getting these three bursts of particles. We've got our yellow particles from emitter one, which has a speed of 150 with some radius variation. Purples are coming from particle emitter two. They've got a slower speed. Everything else is the same. And the blue particles from emitter three, even slower speed. And it's giving us these three rings. So we are going to create some trails from these particles, which are going to give us um, our nice flower petal look. First of all, let's go to Nexus. We're going to bring in an NX push modifier. We're going to set this to particle radius mode and whack it up to full strength and this will just prevent some intersecting particles and it'll push them apart should they touch all right and then we're going to start getting our movement actually we could get these slowing down couldn't we let's go to nexus and we're going to go to ne uh, nx speed I want the speed to happen after the push and the speed we're going to get them to reduce their speed over time so what we can do is put incremental as the mode but to put a negative value so they slow down over time. Let's put minus 25 centimeters. And now when we hit play, you'll see that they're born and they'll gradually slow down over time. Cool. The next bit of movement, uh, most of the movement's going to come from a turbulence modifier. Let's go to Nexus and we'll go to NX Turbulence. There you are. This one we want first. So we're going to get the turbulence affecting them. Then they're going to be pushed apart. Then they're going to be slowed down to zero. The turbulence, we're going to use Curl Turbulence Mode. We're going to leave this pretty much default. The only changes we'll make, we're going to put the scale up to about 200. We want a bit of detail in here so we get large swirls and lots of fine detail. But by increasing the octaves, we'll get too much fine detail unless we reduce this persistence down a bit. So let's put that down to maybe 31. So now when we hit play, we're going to get this turbulent movement. And look, that turbulence has virtually taken over all of the movement of those particles. So we need to make some adjustments to these two settings, the blend and the add. Let's just switch add off for now. The blend blends the velocities from the turbulence and the particles. So the higher this is, the more it's getting its velocity from the turbulence. If we put it on 100%, it's just the turbulent velocity. So yes, we've lost all of that initial speed. If I put the blend on zero, it's just getting it from the particle. So that's what the blend's doing. And let's put it back to the default. And then add is adding those velocities together. So actually, look, let's put the blend off. On full add, it's taken the particle speed and the velocities from the turbulence and adding them together, and it goes really almost out of control. If we just put a little bit of add, it's taken that particle velocity and adding a bit of that turbulence. So you can see that that's looking better, isn't it? So what we can do to be more precise over this to get the look we want is we can put these on the defaults, but then we can data map them. And what we're going to do is we're going to map these over the particle age. So when the particles are born, they've got very little of this. So they have their original speed and the older they get, the more they are affected by the turbulence. Let's go to mapping, add an age map. And the category is the curl turbulence. The first parameter, we're going to map that blend value, that 80% one. Let's do this over 90 frames. And what it's saying is, when the particle is zero frames old, it has no blend value, so it's getting it all of its speed from the particle. And as it gets older, it's getting more and more of that blend value until it gets to 90 frames old, where it gets the full blend value. Let's just see how that looks. Now, this is going to come in too strongly. Yeah, you see at the beginning, it's got that initial movement where it's getting its speed from the particle. So let's just move this first knot up a bit so it has less blend for longer at the beginning of its life, which means it can start moving. Yeah, that's looking better. Okay, cool. So now let's bring some of that add into it a bit more, um, uh, with a bit more control. So we're going to add another age map. This is the new one. We'll bring it underneath. And this one is going to be the curl options. This time we want to map the add 
values. Again, we're going to do it to the age over 90 frames. And this one, we want that ad to come in, um, I would say, a little bit earlier, maybe. Something like this. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's starting to look good. So let's just have a look at our trails now so we can get an idea of what this is going to look like in our render. If I go to my generators, you can see we've got three trails set up here, all of which are hooked up to our emitters. These are pretty much in the defaults, but they've just been given some color. You can dig into the scene file to see how they're set up. But if we hit play, yeah, now we're getting our trails. So this is looking really cool. We're just about there. The only thing is we need to get these to stop. You see they're, they're, they're continuing to move. And that's because the turbulence is always giving them that, those velocities. So let's do one more map in our turbulence. Um, and this time we're going to map the strength. And we're going to map it to the speed of the particles. So let's bring in a speed map. I'll put this at the bottom. And the speed map. We're going to be in the curl settings. Actually, no, it's not curl settings because it's not the add and blend. We want to actually adjust the turbulence settings and we want to adjust the strength of the overall turbulence. And we want to map it to speed, let's say 75 centimeters. So now this is saying when particles are not moving, they get no turbulent strength. So they'll be allowed to come to a stop. When they're moving 75 centimeters and above, they get the full turbulent strength. So now, basically, what this map should have done is enable us for the particles to come to a stop. Yes, we've got it. Excellent. So that is our basic flower. Let's just open this uh, Redshift scene settings. I've just got some lights and some backgrounds and some materials here. And if we go to our Redshift render view and we'll hit render. Yeah, and doesn't that look absolutely fantastic? And of course, we can kind of play this through. We get this developing flower as those trails are drawn. And we get these really nice kind of curl with this shadowing. And that is how we generated this cool growing flower look with particles and trails.